Let's go ahead and switch gears here. We need to give our score predictions for K-State, West Virginia. Before we do that, we're going to look at the, the stats here. This is from collegefootballinsiders.com. This is from Parker Fleming, I think his name is, on Twitter. Uh, basically gives K-State a 69 to 31% chance of winning, a projected nice. score of 31 to 24. You want blue, specifically dark blue, uh, and when, in terms of efficiency offense, defense, success rate, field position, all of that stuff, and K-State has that. Basically, K-State wins two out of every three times they play on – Based off of computer, of course, and you know a computer is not playing this game, but I'm going to go first here. I'm going to jump the gun and give my score prediction here. I think K State wins this game, 27 to 17. Uh, they're going to put together a drive late in the game uh, to put the score out of reach. Two scores, I think, and we'll give our hot takes here in a minute. But I got K State winning 27 17. Kenny, what do you got? Uh, well, K State. There was only one game where they didn't score uh, 30 points at least, um, and that was the BYU game. So uh, they haven't really given me a reason to really doubt that their ability can get that, and especially since you know they uh, they played in a really tough environment this last week, and, and it seemed like they grew up a lot. So uh, I'm going to say that K-State scores. We'll go 37, and we're going we're gonna to give West Virginia – 12 37 12 holy crap dude you have more faith in case eight than uh i would say because i would say it ended up winning 28 to 16 down there that's that's crazy i know well, he's gonna put out his score prediction for gpc here pretty soon but can you share with us a score prediction early here on tuesday yeah i mean i it it, it is early but i think 34 7 it's 34 20 34 20 or 34 23. Let me go 34 23. Um, I think the West Virginia will get a window dressing touchdown at the end to make the game closer than what it is. Um, they did the same thing at Iowa State. At Iowa State manhandled them and they scored a, a late touchdown to make the game look closer than it actually was. So give me 34 23 K State. I think K State handles them. Yeah, and it, like you said, West Virginia scored a touchdown with like a minute 15 left in the game. Correct. It was already 20. And I would take the knee point. on the four-yard line, too, at the end of the game. So they easily could have scored another touchdown if they wanted to. Yeah, uh, yeah. And so I'm going to get into our hot takes here, and this is a part of the show where we give our hottest of the hot takes here. Um, <laughs> and, so if, and if you're watching and you want to add your hot take with the, uh, with the little dollar sign, yeah, we can even, we'll even talk about your hot take. We'll even bring it up and maybe challenge it or, you know, I'll, I'll maybe be the former. You'll be the latter. I don't know. Like we'll just good cop, bad cop. Well, I don't know. We'll yeah, see. Yeah. We'll see. Okay. So here's my hot take. So I, I got three here today. So Jace Brown scored a touchdown in each of the last two games. I think he's going to do that again. He's going to score a touchdown for K state. I don't know how far the throw is. I don't care. He's going to score another touchdown for K state defensively. I think VJ Payne is going to get another interception, his third of the season. And then on special teams, I mean, I've watched West Virginia. Their special teams are not amazing. And K-State has a history of doing pretty well on special teams overall in this season and specifically against West Virginia. I think K-State scores a non-offensive touchdown against the Mountaineers. I really do. So Jace Brown with the touchdown, VJ Payne with the interception, and then a K-State non-offensive touchdown. Kenny? What's your hot takes? Is you always have the hottest of the hot takes. As I well. do have the hottest of the hot takes here. Um, I'm gonna go. DJ finally hits over 200 yards in a game. Uh, so that's my offensive one and my defensive one. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and say Austin Romaine gets forces a fumble and turnover. We'll say that. I mean, they're yeah. gonna they're gonna be running the ball a lot, uh, so I feel like the linebackers are gonna step up a lot. And I think Austin Romaine is just that that beast of a man that's just gonna come down, knock the ball out, make some big play happen, and there's gonna be a huge turnover from for, you know a forced fumble by Austin Romaine. Where K State's gonna recover it. So my hot take will be Dylan Edwards, 150 plus total yards. Oh, and two, oh, and two oh, touchdowns. Oh. 
Oh, I love it. Oh, my God. plus total yards. Give him two touchdowns on the day. He gets loose. Uh, they, they do everything in their power to stop DJ. He'll still get over 100. But this is the game that Dylan Edwards breaks loose. Uh, and then Austin Moore, little interception. I was going to say pick six, but I think that's asking a lot. But I think Austin Moore, you know, Mr. Old Reliable, gets himself a little interception. little slant route, steps in front. A little awesome to machine more, dude. That's I wow. love it. Did and Kenny <laughs> yeah, did that in the summer. I did. Uh he was um he was at the city park doing some sort of event. And uh I said, Hey, what's up? <laughs> He's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of, it was it was really not that special. But uh uh man, the Dylan Edwards hot take, that is I mean, you you must think that Dylan's just gonna be putting the moves on these people with these uh Man, that's he's due. I, I hope, man. I hope he's, so. He's got so much speed. He's due for a long time. At time. some point, he's got to have a breakout game. At some point, that has to happen. Why not here? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. How many rushing yards does Avery get this game? Honestly, I don't think very much because he's coming off of an injury. And yeah. like like Big B said earlier, why would you take the ball out of DJ Giddens' hands to possibly injure your quarterback? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna set the over under at like thirty five. So I, I don't think very many. No, I don't either. I, I think at, at 35 might even be high. I don't think they're going to call yeah. any quarterback runs. He might run scrambling, but I don't think they're going to do it because number one, I don't know that they're going to have to. Uh, but number two, if you don't need to take the risk, there's no reason to do it. Yeah. And I think, I think with the, with the way that uh, the, the passing game was established in the second half of the Colorado game, I think the uh, confidence in the receiving room is probably really high right now. And it wouldn't surprise me if Connor Riley just ends up drawing up a lot of uh, passing plays. I mean, you saw that Iowa State was able to, you know, establish a really good passing game against West Virginia. I mean, and like you said, Brian, K-State watches film too. So, I mean, they're going to probably see exactly what happened there. And uh, and honestly, 100, 103rd in the country in passing yards allowed, dude. So yeah, they're definitely going to pass the ball against them. Yeah, so maybe uh, I mean maybe that hot take with Dylan uh, is probably pretty accurate. They might might do some uh, running back wheel outs, and you know Dylan might break break one out there. But yeah, I, I just think um, I just think that maybe there might be a little bit more passing in this game than I originally uh, thought about when I did my hot take. I I might have I might change my hot take to. Maybe uh, Avery Johnson gets instead of DJ's rushing for 200 yards, he might get over 100. I hope he does. My heart still breaks to the fact that they they broke that streak that he was going on. But uh, I think uh, he might still break 100, which would be great. Um, but I think I think the passing this game is going to be on fire because, like you said, I don't think Avery's going to be forced to have to run or anything like that. I mean, he might scramble him you know, broken play and maybe just get the first down here and there and run to the sideline. But I don't think they're going to drop any running plays for him just because they're probably going to nurse that oblique injury or hip injury, whatever it was that he had. Um, but seems to be able to throw the ball just fine. And I think they're going to be doing a lot of that in this game. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the hot takes, the K state hot takes. There I we think go, Brian, dude. I think Brian took the cake on he the did, hottest dude. take of the day. <laughs> Dude, I'll tell you what. And last week you said five sacks for K State and all the Colorado fans. I mean, we had like fifty people watching. Most oh of them Colorado fans. They went nuts in case it had six sacks. So yeah. uh, one of our hot takes, it feels like always happens. So it probably yeah. end up being Brian because he's a new guy here. Damn.